one of the most popular commanders of all time is now on arena. It's Kalia of the Vast. We're going to slam giant angels, giant demons, giant dragons. It's Brawl with Kalia. Let's go. Welcome to the Attic Manadad here. This is the channel where we explore what's fun in magic, mostly on Arena. On Arena, thanks to Modern Horizons 3, one of the most popular commanders, Kali of the Vast. If you don't know, she's a 2-2, she flies, and whenever she attacks, we can put an angel, demon, or dragon creature card from our hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking that opponent. Okay. <coughs> this is 2024, as I record this. A 2-2 two -two for four mana that has to attack to do an ability is a challenge, is a challenge. So how are we going to meet that challenge? Well, let's take a look at the deck here. Of course, we're going to have some removal to try and keep our opponent's stuff off the battlefield. But we're also going to have a lot of these things that give haste because we're going to want to be able to play Kalia, get up to five mana, play Kalia, give her haste, and get in before opponent has a chance to respond with instant speed stuff. Obviously something like Lava Spur Boots that can sit out is even better. This is only um, colorless mana. It give, give Ward 1, which is nice. We do have Swift Foot Boots as well. We're also going to need to ramp. So we've got all our two mana ramps here. We've got Mind Stone, Iron Crag, Guardian Idol, um, Cold Steel Heart, Arcane Signet. Um, you might have seen Crashing Drawbridge, which is unusual to see, but that is going to uh, increase our... Uh, our ranking, um, our haste abilities. <laughs> I can't speak. I've been sick. You probably noticed I haven't been putting out very many videos. I've been sick. The family's been sick. It's been quite a summer, but <laughs> we're here now to play Kalia. Um, we can do some fun things like Bishop of Wings, which is going to gain us life whenever an angel enters the battlefield, and whenever an angel dies, we get a 1 1 spirit. Um, we've got Jada to help get out our angels as well. Unfortunately, Kalia is a human cleric but you know we could do other things we do have some cheaper angels like overseer valkyrie resplendent angel it's not all just giant angels but we do have a lot of giant angels we've got archangel of wrath uh lyra dawnbringer you know sanctuary warden we've also of course got giant dragons stuff like phalaji dragon engine which we can just hard cast or we can play with kalia is nice platinum angel of course is going to throw that in Bladewing the Risen, which is fun. Valemicus Lorehold, Dracuseth, you know, Sarah's Emissary, Capricious Hellraiser, Inferno of the Star Mounts. I would hazard, if you've been playing on Arena for a couple years, you probably have a bunch of angels, demons, and dragons that are pretty, you know, powerful. You might have a Goldspan Dragon or a Skithrix um, that you can just throw in <laughs> with Kalia and have fun stuff going on. Uh, I do unfortunately have um, some, uh, I think this might be the only one though, of the, uh, I usually try to build Brawl decks without any of the alchemy cards, but in this case, Faceless Agent just seemed like a pretty good value because it is itself a <laughs> angel, demon, or dragon, and it can go fetch us one uh, when we play it. Um, otherwise, what do we got? We got, you know, some removal. Um, but a lot of a lot of ramp and a lot of giant dragons were really all in on the Kalia plan. In the mana base, stuff like Elegant Parlor, we can, you know, use our fetch lands like Bloodstained Mire, Arid Mesa to go fetch it up and get a surveil or get the untapped version with Sacred Foundry and pay the life. Um, pretty pretty standard. We've got a Naganjo. Not much more to say about that. Cavern of Souls can be useful in this deck because it is somewhat of a creature type old deck. All right, enough of my jabbering. You came here to see the angels and the demons get slammed and slammed they shall be. So let's go and see Kalia in action. Ooh, they got us against Nadu with kind of a terrible hand. We're gonna, gonna ship this. Three basic planes with the ability to plane cycle for another one. Well, hmm. we could plane cycle for... 
could plane cycle like the ability to hit with Kalia on turn four is kind of cool. But they have a blocker for Kalia with Nadu. I think we just mow it. See if we can do better. Opponent deciding whether they're gonna keep. All right. What do I name with Cavern of Souls? Do I name Cleric? Do we have any chance of beating Nadu? That's the question. Maybe they're a budget Nadu if they got matched up with us. Maybe, maybe our chance of beating Nadu is that they accidentally disconnected. I do not have time for this. I do not have time for you. Mox Amber, Jalfren Void. This looks like a pretty Ornithopter, okay. Interesting. And they got Lava Spur Boots, which is a great card in their deck. And we're gonna do what? Just play this tapped? Or we can Cold Steel Heart. Second white mana. We steal Sarah, potentially. To explore. Temple of Mystery. Their deck is looking decently uh, stacked here. Oh, okay, so we got the second planes. So I don't know what we're worried about. Hard casting. Blade Wing the Risen. Make sure we have a second black. I think next turn we drop Kalia. Hope that we draw into removal for Nadu. I guess plus two plus one in haste is potentially something. Makes it hard to block. We could wait a turn. They're just trying to decide whether they want to move their Lava Spur boots and they got Wash Away. Great. Well. Lightning Bolt, of course, does not kill Nadu because it's a busted card. Why don't we Jada and bolt the Ornithopter? That'll maybe slow him down a turn. Blade Wing is pretty fun if you uh, have two of them. You can just keep doing Enter the Battlefields forever. Corsair of Prefix. Just lets them play lands off the top. Oh, they got Roaring Earth coming up, so Nadu's going to get out of range. They don't want to move the Lava Spur Boots off of Nadu, it looks like. Signet. Don't even attack, which is weird. 
It's a cleric. Now we can cast Nadu without being countered. Or we can Kalia without being countered. And uh plus three plus zero in haste or plus two plus one in haste. So that really makes a difference, although this gives the flashback. Yeah, we'll get the scry off of this one. We'll take this. A mountain. I think we want to scry for some removal. I'll put Seraph into play. Comes in at 6 5. Now, with Roaring Earth coming down next turn, their Nadu is going to be huge. The short of drawing like our Swords to Plowshares or something, it's going to be tricky. Lotus Cobra. Oh, Finale of Devastation. That could just be game over next turn. Of our stand. Okay, okay. Oh, we beat Nadu. We beat Nadu. I'm tempted to quit <laughs> after beating Nadu, but. We'll keep playing, we'll keep playing. Up against Professor Onyx. Um, well, I think that comes down with how many, comes down with five loyalty. The strangle is never really gonna threaten it. And opponent goes first. Could probably do better with an open hand, let's try. Okay, okay, Immersturm Predators, Something. This is planar disruption's nice. I can kind of just ice the onyx. Um, so we fetch up surveil. I want some ramp. Look at the one surveil land. I'll just fetch up my, where's my tri-land? Oh. Whoa! Okay. Okay, what do we got here? We got plenty of lands. We got one piece of removal. We don't have any ramp. It's a tough decision. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Just see how it plays. Got all the colors. Opponent takes a mully. They are Nicole Bolas the Ravager. Um, I guess we'll just play this one. Yes. Probably play this on red so we have Fang Flames up. Or we could play Elegant Parlor, get a surveil. That's a sorcery anyway. Um a planes, a planes, a planes. I think against Bolas, we might just want to have land. Good chance they are running a lot of counter spells. Manic Lantern, okay. Well, there's only one counter spell that stops Kalia. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with Sarah Paragon, though. Following up with Lyra could be nice. Upgrade. So they're going to have to two for one themselves. We are 100% fine with that. 
And then we get a swamp. Um, I guess we'll go. So, I think without a, um, a haste enabler here, we're just going to play Lyra. We got a Kite Cell Larcenist. They're going to take out something out of our hand, right? Or no, they that kills the Lyra. Okay. Well, we can get Lyra back, potentially, right? As long as it remains on the battlefield, it becomes an artifact. Or we could just lore, Velemicus lore hold. We think they don't have um, counter spells, though. That's the question. Lyra's back. Put Flaji Dragon Engine in. We're at 27, they're at 20. Grim Tutor, okay. Well, they just went and got their best card in their deck. Potentially. Adult Gold Dragon is pretty cool. Dragons and Angels. Coming in. We're at 36, they're at 7. They get a board wipe? What did they get? One for one removal is not going to help. Fightful banditry. That doesn't get rid of Lyra. They have something that can deal one damage to Lyra. Let's see. We need one more mana to hardcast Volemicus. Kalia just sitting on the sidelines here. As we play around, um, playing around the counter spells. Ooh, gotcha, Bolas. Okay, we only got two lands, but we got the Cold Steel Heart. I think maybe we should just mulligan. Well, it does go first. They are playing Rakdos, Patron of Chaos. Uh-huh. Well, see, that's a great demon you could put in uh, with Kalia, if you have it. Um, I'm going to go for the mulligan. Okay, we'll keep this. Technically, I have two pieces of ramp, although one of it doesn't help Kalia, and we draw land. Okay. Let's do uh, Tappy Land first. Probably Iron Crag. We might draw out some of the removal if we play Giada here. Giada doesn't actually help us though. I think we'll just do Iron Crag. Potential next turn to Giada and Ghost Fire Slice. Crucius, okay. And the Mox Amber. Well, anytime you see Crucius, that's pretty much an auto kill. Hold the 
Nine. Alalia. Also an auto kill. We don't have anything to stop Lelia at the moment. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, no, can't you tap this for? Take out Crucius. I mean, take out Lelia. I guess we'll attack with Giada. Looks like they might try to hit Giada. They can break Giada. Okay. Well, let's tap. Giada for mana. Guess we're glad we did things in that order. Opponent can't use the Mox Amber. So far, they've just been throwing down bangers. Guess with the blot out, ouchy. Um, we could Shadrick Silver Quill. I think that's probably the best play. Fine. So, what do we want? Give them a plus one, plus one counter, and we can draw a card. Oh, we got Volemicus Mana. Kalia, sitting in reserve here. Kruxa. Gonna make us discard. Huh. Alright, well, we'll discard the Mesa. Yeah, we'll get mana anyway. Opponent scoops it up. Saudi reactives. Okay, Kalia up against Alayla. Okay, Alayla's a strong one. Another classic at this point. You could call Alayla a classic. Well, source to plowshares and get lost, but with no white mana to cast them, <sighs> reluctantly will mulligan. Yeah, I'll reluctantly keep this. Layla cracks, marsh flats, goes in fine. Try land, probably. Nope, prevail land. Okay. Means they've already got plenty of blue in hand. If we're trying to read our opponent's hand. And they scry that away. They might have a pretty heavy land hand. actually have any dragons, <laughs> angels, or demons to put into play. Uh, Earth of Melitus. Okay, well, we can play an 0-4 wall also. Ooh, but, or we can play Arcane Signet. do that before they get their blue online. Castle of Antris. Curse of Silence. I'm gonna name Kalia probably. It's rough, it's rough. The slowest down for sure. I could put our Pelagi. Now we're very much slower on this. So put the drawbridge down because we could always paste in the Pelagi next turn. Play 
is Liliana of the Vale. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people touch it. We still haste in the Falaji next turn. Oh, I've always hated crowds. Hmm. Nothing the dragon's cool. Let's crack this, get something with red in it. So we have enough red. Well, I mean, we've already got red, but. Plot out. Yeah, that would, that would be helpful when they ever they play a Layla. One that seems to be kind of like an Alayla control, with like Curse of Silence and Liliana the Veil. And the One Ring. Alright, so what do we got? You never see a target gain three life. Creatures you control get plus one plus zero, indestructible in haste. Create a three two red and white spirit creature token. That doesn't do much against the one ring at the moment. We can't because we can't target them. Giada Angel Fire. There's a Layla. There she is, Miss Layla. Um, hmm. We remove a Layla. Guess so. We we'll just keep hitting in. Actually letting it go to exile? No, okay. Let me get back to the command zone. We hit for four. Ring. Deals the damage. We draw. Vanishing light. It's gonna hit Giada, probably. The better thing they could have done is hit the Arcane Signet, but uh, don't tell them that. Okay, now we have a Layla mana. I'm gonna cast a giant dragon. We do have um, counterspell type mana. I don't like that they keep drawing more cards. You are a best sea god, okay? They can steal our 6 6. Swords to plowshares. This is an instant speed, so when they try to go to steal. Oh, that's on chapter 3, though. We got an 8 8 hexproof. Five. I can empty my hand next turn. It's gonna freeze everything down though. Come 
armed in a cleansing fire. Okay. Strange, but... We could do three damage directly to the opponent. I hope that we get something that can deal two damage before... I think that's probably right. So we'll create a spirit and we'll deal damage to opponent. Still in this game. So I can give this Vigilance Trample lifelink indestructible haste. And we draw land. Okay. I could source to plowshares my own guy. Which one's trample? Life link and destructible. Yes, they go to pseudo. <clears throat> it's pseudo ten. If I source to plowshare their guy, this is like. Oh, it's hexproof, so I can't even sorts to plowshare that. I could try to cast Kalia. They're probably holding up counter spells. It's tough. They got removal for this guy. Thinking. Okay. Let's, uh... Find something good to, uh... It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. At this point, they can't really attack with the 8 8. But they leave themselves open. Oh, we got him with the ring. Woo! <laughs> they stacked the triggers wrong. Aha! Wow. Well, if you stuck around for that, leave a um, hashtag womp womp for uh, opponent there. Poor Durs. What was their name? Dense. Sorry, Dense. But Kalia is got. Okay, 100% win rate, five matches, zero losses. There's the proof right here in the pudding. Only about 30 minutes to do it too. Um, we did have some concedes. I would not expect you to have the same results with Kalia as we did, but um, definitely a fun deck. Definitely fun when you can slam some kind of big angel or demon or dragon. Um, 
you can definitely improve on this deck. This I'm playing this on my free spells account, as you can see here. Um, ooh, alternate view modes. Interesting. You see? Okay. You can look at the deck through here. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think the amount of removal is about right. The amount of haste enablers is about right. Um, the problem is the brawl cues and the chances of getting matched up to a deck that's about even with you is wrong. Bladewing the Risen is not the best choice here. It's just a fun choice. Um, some of these other ones, which we could have gotten, would have been a lot more fun or a lot more interesting to have going on. But, you know, Shadrix did its thing. Lyra, uh, Adult Gold Dragon. You can actually hard cast quite a few of these, so it's not the not the least competitive version of this deck, but you could certainly tune it to be a little more competitive um, in some respects. Anyways, Kalia the Vast, loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, hope you loved it too. Check out some other fun brawl videos. How do I do this? Brawl videos over here that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. And this is Man and Dad reminding you, magic is a game so fun, even dads can enjoy it. Adios.